Good evening and thanks for joining us. They are more than just eyesores. Abandoned houses like the ones you see behind us have made neighborhoods dangerous for other families to live. But a million dollar project is cleaning up Sullivan County. As News 10's Lindsay Yates reports, progress is already underway. Take a look. It's sites like these, broken windows, furniture on the lawn, that are all too common. There's a number of homes around town that you drive by every day that you just want to cringe when you look at them. Including this one, 105 South Broad Street. It's plagued John Clark's neighborhood for years. I'm concerned about property values like everybody, other, every other homeowner is. But on Tuesday afternoon, Clark looked on as it was reduced to nothing. I'll be happy to see nothing there. Maybe someone will build a house. Well, at least that's the goal of the blight elimination program. Getting rid of these hazardous homes can cost a pretty penny. Well, I think if you look around, it's terrain in progress here in the city of Sullivan. This is a combined effort, and this just shows when you put a team together, uh, folks that get things done, here are your results. And this is only the first of 10 homes to be leveled. Regardless of where you live, what precinct you're in, help is on the way. The demolition is part of a $1.2 million blight elimination program to spruce up the city. You know, taking care of crime and increasing the morale. But you know what else it does? It paves the way and it lays the foundation and clears the path for future growth. Soon to be empty lot holds. Starts with the home because that's that's where the heart is. In Sullivan County with photojournalist Tony Casasilla, Lindsay Yates, News 10. For the addresses of additional homes to be torn down, go to our website, WTHITV.com.